and what is good y'all it's your boy champ the great man welcome back to the channel welcome back to another one we got another banger on the video technically we got two right now but this is the first one part one of part two you know what i'm saying uh cosm cosm what the hell is this man's name you know who he is he's bad he's from dagestan um and he's going against kevin holland bro i have to hurry this up because the fights are about to start you know how i do i always do this shit i always do this stuff last minute but if you guys have been under a rock, if you have not been paying attention to UFC 279, then you probably just missed the craziest shit that has ever happened in a UFC card. Literally the day before the card, three fights got switched. All because people are missing weight, including this dude who could not get seven and a half pounds over the weight limit bro it's crazy so there's like four different catch weights and on this card it's it's absolutely insane and i'm kind of happy that this happened too because i didn't want to see nate diaz who was originally supposed to fight this dude uh cosmet i didn't want to see him work uh nate diaz out on his last fight you know what i'm saying i think kevin holland is a is a, a step up in competition um i think cosmet is going to be able to beat him as well but you know him beating up on nate diaz i wasn't gonna really appreciate that and now nate diaz gets a better style clash with tony ferguson um and their fight so it's gonna it's it's gonna be crazy man it's gonna be crazy uh i don't know i don't think we've ever seen anything like this before you know what i'm saying like i got cosme i think that uh because holland struggles with great wrestlers you know what i'm saying i think that uh it's not gonna go good for him but leave a like subscribe if you're new subscribe if you're if you're watching this and you're not new and you just always do this shit uh but yeah we're gonna sit down and we're gonna let ufc4 decide who's gonna win this fight you guys leave it in the comments who you think is better and uh yeah i see you guys on the other side i'm gonna let bruce do his thing i see you is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Welterweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 11 wins, no losses. He stands 6 feet 2 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Stockholm, Sweden, Hamzat Borst Chubaya! And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, holding a professional record of 23 wins, 7 losses, and 1 no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas, Kevin the Trailblazer Holland. You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is going to gets underway and you hate to call any fighter on this UFC roster a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool player. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do. And oh! News for serve him up. Oh, big knees. Oh! His opponent's squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighter. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Ooh, big knee. Oh, nice high kick. This is a 
great fight. You got the turnover in that kick. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Look at him dig that body shot right up through his opponent's third. Oh, and potentially a critical takedown here. Trying to recover full guard there. Nice hammer fist. Close guard. Now he's a tight on triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like he's getting in deep. Oh! And this might just be a matter of time. it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission, and that's exactly how you put the rest of this division on notice. Looks like this guy could be a factor moving forward in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 31 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar, Kevin the Trailblazer! Holy right, shit, now. what a fight, man. God, that was not, listen, that was not, like, of all the things that could have happened in this fight, legitimately, I think that that's, like, last on my list, bro. No, no disrespect to Kevin Holland, man. I just didn't think he was going to be able to dominate like that on the ground, or at least be able to be on the ground long enough to get a, a, a submission. Just because Cosmo is such a good wrestler and such just, you know, a nasty ground and pounder. Uh, but he's also a good striker, too, you know what I'm saying? So... I don't know, man. UFC, they usually be getting this shit wrong. So leave a like, subscribe if you guys are new, man. And I'll, I will see y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one, man. All right. <laughs>